light on like that, boom, and it's shining down on me because as soon as I got here, I said, I am cold. And the sun said, girl, I'm gonna warm you up. Ta -da! So I turned the light bulb on and the sun turned on just to warm me up this morning. So look at all the fishermen and women. They over there fishing. They over there fishing. They over there catching them some fish. So I'm going to watch them catch some fish. And I am going to do my normal walk. So last time, which was week before last, I walked, I walked 27 steps forward and 27 steps backwards. So we're going to look and see if we can do the same thing. And then if I can go a little bit further, I might go a few feet further. I'm just going to see how I feel. And hey, that's what we're going to do. So first, I am going to stand up. And then I'm going to take my walk. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. I guess I will not wrap up. Because basically, when you start moving, you get warm. I mean, everybody's out here. You got those kids playing sports. The men over there playing soccer. Fall is a good time to get get to be in action, to get your life together. So I'm gonna get my life together by standing up. Okay. So hold on, let me get situated. I broke my shades, but I got some more. I just don't know where they are. They probably in my car. So five, six, five, seven, eight. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go, Deborah. Let's go. Let me push it. Let me push my video back some further so y'all can see me, and I, you just won't see a big blurb of my body, which is okay if you see that too. I hope those geese settling down. It's early in the morning for all that racket. Calm down. Oh, that might be a dog. Yeah, because people bring their dogs to the park to walk. You know, just keep them on the leash, people. Keep them on the leash. Yeah, I think that is a dog. Five, six, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So you see, I'm gradually returning to a normal stance where I can just stand up like regular people and and take my take my time standing up. And returning my mobility back to its normal state of health. Okay, so let's see if we can sit this here and let y'all watch me take my walk. Okay, you ready? Five, six, seven, eight.
70. 71. Now my back just started hurting at 70. Step number 70. So that's good. 71. 72. 73. Woo! 74. Come on. Come on. Come on. Woo! Woo! Well, hey. 75. 76. 77. I gotta pick it up. 76. 78. 79. Now, 91, 92, 93, 94, I guess 94 is my magic number, 95, 96, 97, Okay, woohoo! Yay! Woo! Now you have to give yourself a hand. Hold on. Yay! Woo! Now, I walked, last time I walked 27 steps and came back. This time I walked 40 steps, almost 50 steps, and came back. But when I got to number 70, my back was aching a little bit. And I remember when I was walking in the Y, my back was hurting. But that means that you're not, you're, that's the point where you need to be more strengthened. And the more you keep walking, your back is going to get strengthened. It's going to get strengthened by doing it. Now, that 94 steps, remember last week, I did 94 steps to do the circle at Soar Over Obstacles. So, that's a good way to gauge how gauge what I can do because I know I can walk a hundred steps I've, I can walk 109 steps because I've done it before so I just have to set a parameter so I can walk from let me show you like from here the first time I did I walked to that garbage can the next time I walked to that little four-way so maybe next time I if it's not dirty if those geese don't poo poo everywhere I can take a right and walk all the way down to the boating dock and come back but that's a goal and you only have to do this put one foot in front of the other and soon you'll be walking across the floor put one foot in front of the other and soon you'll be walking the walking trail i bet those fishermen talking about girl if you don't be quiet we came out here to fish to get some peace and quiet and you up here singing and talking and making all that racket. Gail, hush. <laughs> However, <coughs> this is my every Saturday activity. And um, you know how sometimes your body has to do what it has to do and you don't have a choice? So my body did it. Look at them birds flying. My body did it, and they were there to pick me up, and I, they were so kind, they waited for me. This is what I'm talking about. When people show you compassion, because they only have five minutes to wait, and they leave your butt, and they have left me, they have left me, pl not plenty of times, maybe once or twice, and then one time I called and left a voice message, and they came back and got me. They sent somebody to get me. So I appreciate all of that. So let me do a circle so y'all can see how nice it is out here. And I want y'all to go to the park, too. If I can go to the park, y'all can go to the park. And see, this is a natural habitat. See, it's a wetlands area. So by them putting all that, leaving all that nature right there, it makes the... I 
don't know. Whatever the people do, whatever the birds do, whatever the snakes do, whatever they doing, they do. I ain't doing it, but they doing it. But this is a beautiful, peaceful spot. And um, it's a good place to hope in Christ Jesus. Because guess what? When God made this nature, no man can make nature. God made nature. We can plant trees and we can plant grass, but God... He made, he invented this. He said, let there be whatever. And it was like, ta-da! And this is a place of hope. I'm going to hope myself right into walking. Because I'm, I'm, remember, I have to go, I'm going to drive in November. And I want to be able to walk across the floor. Put one foot in front of the other. And soon I'll be walking across the floor. <laughs> Y'all know what time is it now? What time is it? My head is really spinning. How y'all doing? Y'all can talk to me. I'm just sitting up here. What time is it? It's time to eat my peanut butter jelly sandwich. Well, not jelly, just peanut butter. Because I only have one slice. And I have the butt bread. Oh, okay, I have two slices. I should have brought my jelly. This is the Amish bread I bought last Saturday. And so, one of the ladies, when I was talking about the butt bread, she said, do not despise humble beginnings. <laughs> I said, okay, I won't despise the butt bread, child. But I ate a piece of that butt bread last night. I put a little peanut butter on one side of the bread and a little jelly on the other side of the bread. I had one slice, and I didn't despise the butt bread, child. So this is my pre-treatment. Someone asked me what type of pre-treatment I take. Let me show you, because I brought it with me. So this is my zero sugar um, electrolyte beverage and I add a scoop. Oh, I thought my I thought my bread was going to fly away. I'm like, girl, I'm greedy. I can't, now anything can fly away, but not my food, child. I, um, this is called Pre-Step Advanced Pre-Workout Formula Dietary Supplement. It's by Prestige Labs. Let me show you what it looks like. And that's why I take a scoop of that. I'm almost out of it. In fact, they're going to have a something. I'll take a scoop of it. A scoop. Scoop. There it is. Scoop. There it is. Y'all know that song? Whoop. There it is. Whoop. There it is. So I have me. Now, I'm learning this just as well as y'all. Protein is very important. So I'm going to have me peanut butter and I'm going to have me some two boiled eggs. And I asked my home care worker to boil me these eggs because... I'm not. It take it take all I got. Give 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 it all you got. Give give it all you got. Y'all know that song. Give 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 it all you got. If you're not old school, you don't know that song because you weren't raised right. But um, I guess I'll put it in here. It takes all I got to get up and get ready, child. But when I woke up this morning, I was well rested. I wasn't sleepy because I took a nap. Well, as soon as my home care worker left, I stayed outside from the time I got home. Wait a minute. In my, oh, I was like, I better not be having my legs open. I'm like, what in the world? From the time I got home, which was at 12 o'clock, 1130, until 3 o'clock, I stayed outside. And then by the time I got in and got in the bed and got comfy, when she left at 4, baby, I was gone. Whew. I think I woke up about... I think I woke up at 6 o'clock. I ain't gonna take no long nap. But I went to bed. I slept well. I actually was tired of listening to my... I watched... My cable TV is on my phone, so I didn't watch TV. I wanted to watch an episode of Ready to Love and see what foolishness they all about. I, I do like... The best Ready to Love was Houston and also DC to me. I didn't watch it when it was Miami because I looked at it one day and they were just, I mean, come on, y'all. We are we are adults. Okay, is that dog on the chain? Is your dog on the chain? I'm scared of dogs. She can't hear me. Can you hear me? Yeah. Keep him. Don't let him touch me because I'm scared of him, okay? Oh, no problem. Okay, thank you. Yeah. So, ooh, 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 ooh. Okay, yeah. I overcame my fear of small animals, but, but big dogs? Yeah. Mm -mm, he might try to lick me or something. Mm -mm. 
And I ain't ready for no dog spit. Ooh, no. Mm -mm. So, thank you. Okay. So I'm sitting here enjoying the view. And, and honestly, to work on your mobility and to work on your mor morbid obesity, you've got to replace the time you spend eating with something. So you can't just do the same exact thing and say, hey, I'm going to lose weight. Honey, you got to do something. And what I'm doing is eating this boy egg with the sun. Hey, good morning, sun. Good morning, honey. Y'all know this song. That's a beautiful song. Y'all need to learn some black history. Get some black history in your life. You know this song. Okay, this is very vulgar. And when I look at the vulgar things now, and then I think back, it was vulgar then too. This I wasn't gonna say it because it's not lady like me to say that. Every the Bible says that everything that you can say, you might not want to say. But I am saying this to learn how to replace my you know maybe getting up and going to big breakfast at ihop or cracker barrel now i like me some cracker barrel however how about get up and enjoy the park we don't know when we were growing up we were in college we were in high school when we were young adults when i went to london when you came home from work on your way home from work you stopped at the park and sat in the grass and relaxed how about getting back to those times when you take a class or you take you take something that's going to touch your soul and your creativity so that you can replace the compulsiveness with something that has no sin the bible says of these there is no sin there's no sin for peace joy love those are the fruits of the spirit and my spirit is about that obesity honey we got to replace that spirit honey I am obese no more. And it starts right here. Okay? So y'all got to get out there and get you some na nature. Today is a river fest festival, but it's kind of boring. But I, they have food trucks out there once again. I, I decided I wasn't going to go this year because it's really boring. So, you know. I mean, it's okay. Because you can socialize and do anywhere, but you know is really boring and there are lots of more well right now every weekend isn't a weekend for me to be out in them streets i need to sit my butt at home guess what i'm going to do when i get home if not today tomorrow i might wash my hair and then i might sweep my porch off and how many y'all know about this i'm gonna get a big bucket of water with some pine salt and after i sweep the porch off i'm gonna pour the water on the porch that's what I'm going to do. That's the highlight of my weekend, okay? Because I feel like it. I turned the buckets down. And if I really would feel like turning on the water, I could water hose them. But I'm going to spray paint them buckets. Um, and put some mulch in them or some, or some dirt in them. And uh, plant some bulbs. When the bulbs go 50% off at, um, at um, Dollar General, I'm going to buy some. Bow, bow. Out. and then they'll come up like in January or February look at that mama with all them kids in that wagon parents be doing it okay living it up living it up oh yeah Friday night living it up living it up oh yeah y'all know this song Friday night I don't be knowing no new songs I know some old songs though oh yes it's ladies night and the feelings right Oh yes, it's ladies' night. Oh what, oh what a night! Y'all know this song. On disco lights, your name will be seen. See, they've been having ladies' night since way back yonder day. If this stuff ain't new, okay? You can fulfill all your dreams. Part of here, part of there, everywhere. This is your night, baby, and you got to be there. Yeah. This is your night tonight. Everything's gonna be. All right, this is your come on, let's go celebrate. You know what I want to do? I want to go see Earth, Wind, and Fire in concert. I've never seen them in concert before. So maybe if they go like to LA or to Chicago or to Detroit or to DC, I can fly up, get me a hotel like right across the street and ride my wheelchair over there. What? What? Okay, okay, 
Okay, or oh, Charlotte. Charlotte is not. I've been to Charlotte before, though. Um, I've been to D.C. before, too. Uh, many times. Many, many times. <laughs> it took me all that time to peel this, this egg. So, this is a protein snack. So, when I... The first time I was at the park and I kept doing exercises for the whole hour I was out here, that took me out. So... I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to talk to y'all. And, um, I'm going to enjoy myself here. Mm. Because half the battle is planning your success. So, how are, we, how are we gonna plan your success? How are you gonna plan your success? How am I gonna plan my success with this weight loss battle? I shared in the live on my Facebook page what I was what I got. What I'm planning to eat for the week. I'll share it with y'all. Like today, we're going to go to Subway. I'm going to get sandwiches for today and tomorrow. And maybe even Monday. Because I want to eat sandwiches. I have a few more. I have a few more. Um, I have a few more. A few more days. I have a few more watermelon. So I'm going to eat that. Let's see my spoon with my peanut butter. Y'all know I'm about to have a problem. But I do know I have a fork in here. And um, I'm going to have her make me some cream potatoes. And a steak. Like a roast. And um, broccoli. So you gotta have protein, vegetables, and carbs. I was gonna try this black rice out, but I don't, but then when I clicked it, it said they didn't have any, they, that it was out of stock. But um, I'm gonna have her cook my broccoli. Don't cook it all the way tender. Cooking calorie is kind of still solid. So that, um, it won't be so muggy. Or I might cook it because you know what? Ain't nothing wrong with my arms. Only if I get too tired doing other stuff. But, um, and then I got to get back to really good food prepping. It's cold out here. Next time I'm bringing my heavy, my sweater like jacket because it's cold out here. So I hear the men. There's some men in this house. There's some men in this house. If you see them, point them out. If you see them, point them out. I hear the men. I hear the men. They're, they're playing soccer. I'm gonna go over there in a minute. So I'm having my peanut butter and jelly. Let me see how much protein in this peanut butter and jelly. Protein, seven grams of protein. 180 calories, two two tablespoons is a serving. That's a lot of peanut butter. So I'm gonna eat my peanut butter. Can I have some peanut butter? Of course you can. Y'all know that song. Can I have some peanut butter? Of course you can. Can I have some peanut butter? Of course you can. Can I have some peanut butter? Of course you can. Can I have some peanut butter? See, those when days were fun and y'all want to talk about murder, raping, and robbing. We was talking about, can I have some peanut butter? Of course you can. Can I have some peanut butter? Of course you can. And I'm going to have me some peanut butter. Of course I can. Can I have some peanut butter? Of course you can. Make it fun. Lou Rawls sings a song called, It's Supposed to Be Fun. Mm-hmm. It's supposed to be fun, fun, fun. And let me show y'all. This is a, um, a piece of bread made by the Amish. It's not that big. Why our bread be so big? It's just a regular size piece of bread loaf. We don't need no super size piece of bread. Hmm. 
I might as well put some peanut butter on this bread right here. Nah. If I feel the need, if I feel hungry a little bit. Or maybe when I get home, I'll put some peanut butter on this bread. Because I ain't eating nothing else until we go to Subway. And that's the thing I'm learning. I don't know exactly how it works, but I do know that we have to get our protein. You have to eat at least 75% of the protein that you need so your body can be what the term, the term is called nutrition dense. So I'll even save this this egg too. When I'm enjoying myself and living my life, I'm not focused on eating. I'm not focused on eating too much. I'm just focused on a polite, a polite nourishment of my body. When I have some peanut butter, of course you can. Can I have some peanut butter? Of course you can. And then I get happy. I am happy, happy, happy to eat my peanut butter. Happy, happy, happy to eat my peanut butter. I am happy, happy, happy to eat my peanut butter. I'm happy, happy, happy to eat my peanut butter. And I hope and pray that I am going to lose some weight this week, this week. Because I'm going to be sad. 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 Because I'm going to but that don't mean I ain't lovely, child. Ooh, that duck. Ooh, that duck don't come over here, duck, duck, duck. Ain't nobody got no food for you. That duck pretty duck. That look like one of the people the ducks in Memphis. Don't come over here bother me while I'm trying to eat. Because, you know, the ducks know you're not supposed to feed them. Hi, Sorbin. Oh, honey, thanks so much. I didn't say I wasn't beautiful. <laughs> I'm just saying that for, for the focus of the goal is to decrease the fat and do it in a systematic manner. I'm sorry, I didn't even bring a napkin. I'm sorry to use this my towel because it's cold out. And I know that culturally, having a little meat on your bones be all right. But child, I got a little bit too much meat on my bones, child. I need to decrease some of this meat. Decrease some of this meat. Decrease some of this meat, 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 meat. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Decreasing that meat. Decreasing that meat. Decreasing some of my meat on my bones. So that I can do the things I want to do and live the type of life I want to live. I want to go to South Africa. I'm going to go to Kenya since I'm going to be in South Africa. I have one customer who's in Tanzania. If it doesn't cost that much to go from Kenya to Tanzania, I could go visit with him for the weekend. And, um, and you know, Ghana is my place. I've been to Ghana before. That's my home, away from home. But... I kind of want to go to Ethiopia, too. Because Ethiopia is the real deal, you heard me? They got that Ethiopian Bible. And the Ethiopians, they know that they're the real deal, too. They know they're black people. I asked them. They told me. And they even have their own churches, like, even in the U.S., in Nashville. They, they already know what the business is. But I probably won't go to Ethiopia right now. I'm just saying, I want to go to. Oh my goodness, it's so rude. Somebody is so rude. Um, I want to go to Palenque, Colombia. That's going to be my first place to go. Palenque, Colombia. I'm coming to see you. Palenque, Colombia. Because that's one of the first places that. When they enslaved us and took us on the boat, they ran up there. Now, there was some of us already here, so don't get it twisted. However, I want to go to Palenque, Colombia, and I want to see 
Oh my goodness, there is somebody on my feet being so rude. You are so unhappy with yourself, child. I tell you, I don't know how to block you, but I'm gonna have to put it on. Okay. I mean, you are so. You are so rude, baby. I mean, to the nerve of someone to spend their energy to say something negative about a person. That is, those type of people are dangerous because they are very, they are very much unhappy with their life. Okay. That's amazing. Somebody would spend their time to do that. However, what do you all have planned for the fall? See, the season is changing. The weather is dropping. It's getting cooler. Good morning. Good morning. He walking with his cool daddy hat on. Look at him. Okay, he got his cool daddy hat on. I want to go to a Titans football game. I did check the bus because I live outside of Nashville. It only costs 20, $22 to go from Clarksville to Nashville on the Greyhound. And I think it's like $4 to go on the bus. They have a bus that go from Clarksville to Nashville. So, and I can fit my wheelchair on the Greyhound bus. So, I want to go to a Titans game. I wanted to go to the Titans when they played Dallas. Hello. Your name is Large Cameraman. Hi, I'm okay. Large Cameraman. But since I didn't know the tickets were $300 to $500 at the time. I would have paid it. I just didn't know it. I would have saved up for it because Dallas Cowboys is America's team, you know? And they're playing the Titans. That was a big rivalry. Really, when I go to the games, I like to cheer and I like to eat because the food is good and the people are so friendly. People will help. They will help you to death, okay? And it's just a, it's just a whole vibe. It is a whole vibe. Mr. Jackson used to sell me his football tickets. And I used to be sitting on the third row. And my daddy sold me his camera. That camera was so good. It could zoom in. And you would think I was sitting right in front of the, the camera people. Right there. So, I thought about going to a Memphis Grizzlies game. But if they, when they play the L.A. Lakers. Because, you know, that's the game I see. But they're playing the um, Detroit. Um, is it Detroit? something it's not detroit pistons that's the not detroit the, the um the boston celtics my brother used to like the boston celtics so the tight the grizzlies are playing the boston celtics and they're playing detroit pistons and they're playing another group but they're not playing the la lakers this season so apparently memphis grizzlies basketball is really big people come like rich famous people come in to watch the game but I want to go in my wheelchair. So, you know what I like about me? I don't make all these plans that cost all this money. I will in a minute. And then guess what? I'll do it. So, um, I don't even really like basketball like that. But when you are alive, it's so different than watching it on TV. It's so... When I used to live in Memphis, I used to work at the University of Memphis. And I used to chaperone the college students going on the bus to the game. We had good seats. And the game was all that in a bag of chips. So what else am I going to do this? Oh, every holiday, I'm going to plan an outing. So there is a famous restaurant called Patty's 1880 Settlement. So for Thanksgiving, we're going to go. Nine. They are so booked. They only have available November 1 through 4. They're booked all of November, all of December, all of January, all of February, all of March. So the only dates they were available for us to celebrate Thanksgiving is October 28th. <clears throat> so we're going to go for, for that. For, and then for Christmas, we can go to the um, Opry Mills. The Grand Ole Opry. I don't know what we want to do there. But we'll go. We'll see. I'm going to find something neat to do. For each holiday. And um. 
So I don't know. We're gonna find something neat to do. Mm, 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 mm. That makes life worth living. I think they're gonna they're building a Ritz Carlton in my in Nashville. I know they are. So um to go and have brunch there. But there's a jazz, it's called the jazz room. We can go to the jazz room for Christmas. So it's like a dinner and, a, and jazz. So we can go to the jazz room. And so that'll be fun. But it's a ton of stuff to do in Middle Tennessee. I mean like a ton of stuff to do in Middle Tennessee. A ton of stuff to do. So we'll find something. So I tell y'all what, it is fun being out here, and things are alive. You have parents, kids, fishermen, fisherwomen, soccer players. I mean, the park is full. There is four people parked all on the sign. Cause it's a good place to be. To come out and get your get your life. Just live your life. Hey, I mean, I'm not a paper chaser, but that's what the song's like. Because I'm a paper chaser, live your life. Hey. I don't want to start bringing my dinner napkin. I love me a cloth dinner napkin. <laughs> and that's part, my mobility journey, my weight loss journey, is not just, okay, how much weight am I losing? It's how much life am I living? Walk over with me to the garbage can. How am I living my life? How am I enjoying myself? Are you leaving? Yep, I'm leaving. Well. You have a wonderful day, here. Yeah? Thank you. You better have one too now. Yeah, hey, I'm just okay. going to chill out. Hey, <laughs> ain't nothing like chilling. I'm telling you right now. Okay, like take chilling. care. Take care. Chilling is the thing. That's the thing. That's the thing. Let me tell you. And so, um, one of these days, I'm going to walk around this whole walking trail. And I used to did not, I used to was not afraid. Let me see how much I can walk out right here. And so, I trust that nobody's going to steal mine. Good morning, Danielle. Hi, Hi Danielle. I trust that nobody's going to steal my purse. This is how much, this is how much, how trustworthy I am. But see, if somebody stole my purse, I'll be sitting up here crying on TV for real. So let me just put my purse right here. I'm so trustworthy. I'm so naive. That ain't trustworthy. I'm just naive. But for real, for real. I'm going to leave my cane right there. Okay, let's see. Let's go over here. See how pretty that is? But see, so. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, look at that, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. That made me feel scared, but I'm gonna try. It's a little hole there, but I think my wheelchair can get over it. Okay, good. Woo! Okay, so this is, hello, hello, hello. Blue skies and rainbows and sun beams from heaven are all I can see when my Lord is living in me. Ah! I know that Jesus is well and alive today. It makes my home in my heart. That's for blue skies. Hello, hello, hello. Look at that. See that thing? I'm like, am I going to be able to fall? See, I can't be trusting this. So I was going to show y'all this walking trail, but I better turn around. See, I'm just scary. Oh, my God. I didn't used to be this scary. Okay? But that's okay. I'm going to, let me go over it. If it, if it, I mean. Okay, yeah, I can go over it. I need to stop being so scary, y'all. Because God did not give us the spirit of fear. He gave us. But you know what it is? We don't focus on what we need to focus on in, in church. So we're not equipped with power. We may hear about it, but we're not equipped. It's a difference between equipping your soldiers and... Um, oh, this must be water. It's like a little bridge. See, look. Okay, so this is a goal that I can set for myself. If I can ride my wheelchair over it, then um, 
Okay. 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 Go ahead, Deborah. Okay. Go ahead. Okay. Go ahead. Look how pretty this is. Okay. So if I, this is a goal. I used to walk this trail before. It used to take me two hours to do it. So if I can ride my wheelchair over it, then eventually I can walk it. But it circles the whole pond. It's really big. Look at that. That looks like a deer, really. But it's a swan or a geese or something. But I'm going to go back over here in my spot, honey. I can't. Good morning, Michelle. But, um, part, I really got to overcome this fear of stuff, you know. But I do tell people when I see them with their big old dogs, I'm scared of their dogs because, you know, people's dogs be trying to lick on you and run to you. And they be sitting right there looking at doggy walking. I'm like, look at people. I'm scared of doggy walking. You know what I mean? And I'm gonna need you to get down the wrong. So. Okay. So, my dress is flapping up. That's why my uncle was gave me them shorts. But Miss Debbie didn't want to put the shorts on because she too hot to try. Now, baby, look my dress is flapping up. Well, yeah. Y'all know that song? Too hot to try. Now, baby. Well, yeah. Baby, get here before I see a snake. Too hot to try. Wow. Sweet thing. That's why the Commodore is. Y'all ought to look that song up. The things that you say. I just love you, baby. Everything each way. Sweet, pretty woman. I just want you to know that I love you. Oh, I love you like baby. That is surely. I mean, I know that song since I was like 10 years old. So, I think I'll probably shoot a call to the Parks and Rec and ask them to make sure that these walk bridges are fortified since I'm gonna be driving my driving my butt across it. Cause I'm precious and I don't want to fall. So I did 94 steps. Okay, I'm gonna show y'all where I walked at. I walked from right here, this bench, to that that little cross section right there, and then I turned around and came back. So did that which was more than I did the last time the last time I came I did 27 steps so what I'm gonna try to do is every week just do what I can and practice and I might try to walk I took my cane I might try to walk without my cane too but while we have nice days here in the fall I'll come to this is called Liberty Park and this is Heroes Way that's actually the Wilma Rudolph Event Center so that building right there <laughs> And it's really nice too. So maybe someday I'll, I can ride my wheelchair up there and show y'all. But um, it's just been great to be here, to come out this morning to celebrate life, losing weight, building your building your mobility, getting relief from chronic pain. Why do we want to do it? So we can live life. Just live your life. Hey, I'm a paper chaser. I'm not a paper chaser, but I like that. Live your life. Hey, I guess I could be a paper chaser. It just don't seem like a ladylike thing to say. Even though Rihanna is the lady of most ladies. She is very much a lady. Very much a feminine beast. And we love Rihanna. I can't afford her makeup quite just yet. But I can't wait till I can. Just live your life. Come on, y'all. Hey. Did you catch some fish? No. That's why we leave. Oh, okay. Yeah, we're going to try another location. Okay. Y'all serious about that fish, ain't you? Oh, yeah. Okay, you better go feed the nation with that fish. Okay. I'm telling you right now. Get you a fisherman, ladies. I'm telling you right now. You're going to eat. That's why when I do the high school uh, presentations, I tell the people, the men who, who, because in every high school, there are going to be some people who live on the farm. I'm like, okay, those on the farm, ladies, you can go with him because he got, mostly he's going to have a truck. He's going to drive it to school. But I'm like, you can't ride with him by yourself. You got to take a girlfriend because you can't trust the child. Can't trust no man with a car by yourself, girl. You got to, you got to take your girlfriend. So, anywho, just live your life. Hey, some a paper chase. I gotta look at, listen to the song and learn some other lyrics to that. 
but I do enjoy. I don't. I enjoy Rihanna. I don't know all her songs, but I do. I do like her. I do like her. So we want to lose weight. Why? We want to increase our mobility. Why? So we can go places. So and do things and enjoy our life. And I love tending to my garden. And instead of throw out my buckets, I'm gonna spray paint them and um, put some dirt in them and put some flowers in them or put some um, put some herbs in them. But now it's gonna get cold, so when it's nice and when it's summertime again, I can put some herbs in them. But I just want to decorate my my house, and I have bunny rabbits, so the bunny rabbits come up and bite the plastic flowers. And spit them out because they think it's food. They tell me this ain't no food, girl. I'm like, you shouldn't have been biting them. Did nobody tell you come over here and eat my, eat my uh, food? But I need to plant some cabbages just for the bunny rabbits. Bye, y'all. Hi, right, you, <laughs> you too. And um, so when that's the clue. When you do have your garden, you gotta plant some for the animals, cause girl, they gotta eat too. And you don't want them eating your food. Just live your life. Hey, yesterday I stayed outside from 11.30 till 3 o'clock, just to tootling in my yard, sweeping, pulling weeds, pulling flower pots. I had a good old time. I took me a nap. Let's see, did I take a nap outside? Yep. Hmm. I think I took a nap in my garage the day before yesterday. And that's why I know them people when my house burned down, them people took my high back chairs that was in the garage because they did not get burnt up. They just took them, restored them for themselves because they some good quality chairs. So, Michelle, how you doing, honey? How are you? Okay, a d blue skies. I already did your song. Daniela, large cameraman. That is a strange name, large cameraman. I guess you're a cameraman. And Serene, I appreciate y'all. I appreciate y'all rocking with me. So, let me, let me put this right here. Okay, I'm going to tell y'all something else I get, which I, really, I like nuts and stuff, but I don't oftentimes eat them. But I bought these sliced almonds. I bought them because um, there was a recipe I wanted to put them in there, but I'm good for always having a recipe, but then I don't do it. So, I can't do all them recipes, child. So, let's come over here. And let's go. I don't know if they're still playing soccer. I bet they still are, but I want to go over here and check them out, child. We gotta check out the soccer players. And then let's put this somewhere. I'll put it back there somewhere. <laughs> you gotta cr get creative. When you have a wheelchair, honey, you can load up a lot of stuff. Oh, just enjoying your company. Well, Michelle, girl, good morning, honey. Let's en let's enjoy each other's company, honey. I feel you. I appreciate that. Lord have mercy. Much as I talk, girl, if my dress don't stop flying up, girl, I'm like, look here, you can't get these people peep show, girl. You're going to have to get it closed. I'm going to have to put my shawl over it because when I take off in my wheelchair, my wheelchair can go fast. It's popping, so I'm going to have to cover that thing up, child. Hey, good morning, ducky duck duck ducks. I hope y'all enjoying y'all grass because I ain't giving y'all not nothing. Good morning. Look at them. They pretty. They're going to white one. And let me tell you how they dress. Them ducks. Look at them ducks. Let me tell you something. Look at them ducks. You got the orange, the yellow, mustard yellow feet with the white. That go together. The red, the black, and the white with the yellow. Baby, they going to teach you how to dress, okay? I'm telling you right now. In Africa, when you look at some of the indigenous people, they dress like the animals. And see, look at them yellow feet with the red, you know, red and yellow and black and white. Girl, what? What? You better ask somebody who know how to dress. Ducks and geese know how to dress. Okay. So I'm oh. going over here. You didn't bring the stroller. Just live my life. Hey, 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 I'm a paper chaser, live my life. So let me check. I mean, they are coming over here to play these sports with these children, and they are getting it to end. Okay, so I'm gonna go over here. Okay, let's see, let's see. 
Let's see. Let's see that girl. The guy's playing soccer. Now, oh my goodness. So this is the thing. Miss Deborah cannot get her wheelchair. I can get my wheelchair in this in the um I can get my wheelchair in the grass, but it's downhill, and downhill is scary. See, even though it might not look like that much to you. Look at all them parents over there watching them kids. Mm -hmm. Okay, so they got several games going on at one time. Okay. Cause you got them over there playing. Okay, they got their little thing. And then you got them over there playing. And then you got them back there playing. So, okay, so they got the small net. So it's three games going on at one time. So you got the small nets. So I guess they don't need the big nets. That's some fancy footwork. They serious about that thing too. So it's three games going on in one. That's kind of nice. So, see this sign is called Heroes Way. See, and baby, they lock this park up right at dust. You don't don't get don't get locked in here, cause you will be locked in here. See, that's Heroes Way. Cause this is a military town so we have lots i love these big rocks i wish i could get me a big rock like this in my yard and i could sit on it and take pictures so it's only like two ladies out here watching them so i guess the late the wives send their husbands to play soccer and they stay at home with the kids doing something else. It's still kind of nippy out here, though. But it's good to be out here. So let me just sell on down the line. Funny how the time is going. Friends say they told me so, but it doesn't matter. It was plain to see that a small town boy like me just a, wasn't your cup of tea. I was wishful thinking. I gave you my heart and I tried to make you happy. You gave me nothing in return. You see, there ain't no stuff to say. Will you please just go away? Hey, hey. Ba -dum, ba -dum. This is the part where you vote you vote your docs over here. I'll be on my way. But see, I ain't gonna get too carried away because I wanna be where I can see. Now I can't see if the van is coming to pick me up. I guess I'm moving along. I'm looking for a good time. A good time. Oh, sail on, honey. Good times, they never feel so 
good. The Bible says if you are feeling fine, if you're cheerful, put a song in your heart. So that's another thing that we can do to replace our overeating and our pain. You put a song in your heart, honey. That song is called Sell On by the Commodores by Lionel Richie and the Commodores. So, baby, you better sell on down the line. And funny how the time is goes. And friends say they told me so, but it doesn't matter. It was plain to see that a small town boy like me just a, wasn't your cup of tea. I was wish for thinking my hands can't and i don't mind about the things you gotta say lord do 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 see there ain't no way to say when you please just go away yeah yeah bum 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 i'll be on my way Guess I won't be here to stay. I'm looking for a good time. Y'all know this song. A good time. Lionel Richie was really good friends with Kenny Rogers also. I'm so long. Good times. Never felt so good. You better believe it. It sure is. It's the best therapy for everyone. Oh, look at this big body Lincoln coming up in here. Hey, jamming. Oh, he about to be coming up here and um, he about to be fishing on okay? So y'all better ask somebody. You better get yourself a fisherman. And look at this um, bicycle rack. So, hey, one of these days when I really get it going on, I can tie my bike up to this bicycle rack and I can get going. Every time I wear this, I wrap my hair. It's like I wrap my, I wrap my head too tight because after a while, I'm like, this thing too tight on my head. Hmm. Y'all know black hair draw back. I was working so hard outside yesterday, I sweated my whole hair back. It um, it just just sweated all back in a nappy look. So that's okay. I'll tell you, I've been coming out here for years, and I never noticed all the dog, all the uh, duck poop. And so I guess too. I was walking then, so I may not have noticed it because I stepped over it. But one day I came out here, this whole parking lot was full of poop. And But I talked to the man, he said they only clean it once a week. But I figured with the, um, look at those ducks right there. Since it's their house, I'll slow up. Matter of fact, I'll just turn around because it's their house. And so, it's my house. And I live here. Y'all know that song. It's my house. And I live here. My dino house. It's my house. And I live here. It's my house. And I live here. So I go around. Oh, they move. They flying. They get ready to fly, child. They talking about, girl, we about to fly. We don't know what you talking about. We are about to fly. They taking off soon. It's my house, and I live here. 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 I just now I come back over here because it's their house, and I don't live here. Oh, look at them. They getting they oh they getting they stuff together, honey. Oh, oh they oh they're looking for me. That's the CTS man. Let's say hi. They don't know. They don't know. Let me go back right here. It's the house and I live here. Okay. 
This was fun, y'all. This was a lot of fun. Hi, guys. I got a CTS fan. Okay, I'm going to an ice cream truck. So, I thank y'all for spending this time with me. M-I-C-K-E-Y-M-O-U-S-C. -E Mickey Mouse. Good morning. I drove all the way around. I, I, I saw you over here. I said, ooh, let me go over here because she don't know who I am. This is Hero's Way right here. Yeah, I figured out, I figured out where I was. Uh-huh. I, I just stopped uh, and was trying to find you over looking Yes, I went over there and I said, let me come back because I ain't going to, I want to be seen. So. Uh-oh. Yeah, I, was, I didn't work yesterday. I was really sick. I see. Bless your heart. Mm -hmm. Okay, y'all. Now it's time to say goodbye to Mickey and all her friends. M I C K E Y M O U S C. Peace and hair grease. Talk to you later. Okay, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe and share. Bye.